guys, I'm Mary and Elise and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do another wig review. And first off, before we even get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if you are subscribed already, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today I'll be reviewing this beautiful wig, which is a part of the Butter Lace Collection by Sensational. Um, this is my third Butter Lace unit so i think i pretty much you know got the hang of it but today we're doing butter unit five this one is really popular and really pretty from what i've seen i'm a little late but we're gonna see if it's really good like how it be looking at other people because y'all like look at this it's so gorgeous this collection is known for having undetectable hd lace blending with most skin tones ear to ear lace with the five inch deep hand parting area and pre-plugged with baby hair along the hairline and natural density in the hairline as well and so yeah I was reading the back by the way so I wasn't making this up this is what they claim to do and we're gonna see if they got it done also if you like the wig I'm wearing right now this is actually another butter unit lace this one is the butter unit lace 14 butter unit 14 i don't know why i said lace but butter unit 14 and i did a review on this hair already or i don't know which one i'm gonna put out first but probably this one if not it's coming but it should be up um but yeah so this is the butter unit 14 in the color 1b so this is a natural black in this hair and honestly y'all this wasn't my favorite wig because of how tangly it gets and because of how tangly it gets like it's really pretty though, that's why I'm still wearing it and that's why I'm gonna wear it because it's pretty but it tangles. Hopefully Butter Unit 5 is a lot better than this one and also this wig slides a lot. So you're gonna have to use some adhesive and I'm just gonna see like how they both compare to each other. But yeah, if you wanna find out more about this wig right here, I'm gonna leave the description down below and I'm also gonna put it in one of these corners so you can click on it up there. So before we get started, y'all know I like to show y'all the stock card to show you what we're working with. So this is the hair. It's supposed to be a little short, curly, loose curly wig. I mean, it's longer than a bob, but kind of in a bob. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And so yeah, so here she is. I got this in the color 1B, so I kept it natural for this one. And if you wanted more colors, they offer these in the back, so you can switch it up if you want to. When you open it up, you see a bigger picture of her. So I hope it looked like this on me. I hope it looked like that on me. And once again, you learn more about the lace on the other side. And like I already said, everything that this wig is supposed to be featuring is on here. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the wig out so we can look at it. So here is the wig. Hold on, I gotta show y'all a full view of it from all the way. This is so pretty. Like, look at this. This is really, really pretty. It's really bouncy. Uh, I'm not gonna run my fingers through this one just because it's curly and I don't want to mess up the curls in it. I want to keep the curls how they are. I like how loose they are. But here's the front and here's the back. So how the back is looking. This wig is very full so I feel like it's not gonna be a problem with it being thin. The lace reminds me of the wig I'm already wearing right now. It's still you know the same. It's a little light because I mean it's not totally invisible but at the same time it's melteable. <laughs> it's not too light. The part goes all the way back like it says it does. So you got a really nice part in space. Very natural. And here's the hairline. So the hairline is also looking pretty decent, I think. Let me look over here. Yeah, the hairline is looking really nice. The baby hairs are minimal. Once again, I appreciate them for not doing too much with the baby hairs. So here's the hairline. The hairline looks really nice. Comparing it to the wig that I got, it's looking the same. And honestly, it looks nicer on my hand. And I know like, when I put the wig I'm wearing on, I was like, hmm, this could be plucked a little bit more. So I'm sure this would be the same. It looks really nice. So you don't, you shouldn't have to do too much. This wig has two combs up here and one comb back there. And also the lace is like that middle part, kind of T-shaped, so it's not too much lace to be working with. I am going to put makeup on this. I'm going to cut it. The wig cap does feel a little more, you know, 
snug so i saw some other videos that this wig fit a little snug so hopefully it's not that snug to where it's not comfortable but we'll see so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off and put the wig on to see you know what it's giving just straight out the box natural without nothing being done to it we're gonna see oh my goodness okay okay y'all let me let me focus oh yeah this is snug it is very very snug give me a second so i have the wig on and it is so pretty i did a curly wig before that was synthetic on amazon and it was not good at all but it was like $20 and I think this one is probably like 30 and it was just not good at all y'all that wig was so bad but I'll put the link in the description box too so y'all can go look at it but um this is so pretty uh, it's so pretty like this is just straight out the bag and this is what it's looking like so looking at this lace though first of all okay first of all the wig is tight I mean it's not tight but it's not gonna fit over my entire head and so my real edges are gonna have to be left out as y'all can see and i'm just gonna slick those down and make them work because i saw somebody else do it and she made it work so that's not gonna be a problem the wig still i mean feels comfortable so you don't have to worry about that but you're not gonna be able to use baby hairs from this wig though if you got a low hairline if you got a big head be aware of that also the lace like i said y'all can still see it i mean it blends but it's just it needs a little foundation and excuse my wig cap right there so y'all can watch me do that i'll just like you know let that play but i'm gonna try to <laughs> i'm gonna try to you know face it up a little bit more so all i'm gonna do is part it put some makeup in the part and also the top is a little bit bigger than what i would probably prefer so I'm probably going to take my hot comb and just try to flatten it down just a little bit because it is really lumpy and I want to shape it around my face because yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot going on. <laughs> it's pretty and it has potential but it's a lot going on. So I'm going to fix myself up and then I'll be back. final look I slicked down my edges I cut out the lace and made it blend a little bit better I put some powder in my parts no plucking just parted and powdered okay parted and powdered um and then I also used my hot comb to flatten down the top a little bit more and this is what we came out with I want to show y'all from the side from the other side um, one other thing that I probably would do, but I'm too scared to do because I'm not a professional, is probably cut it in the front to shape it to my face. Um, but that's not necessary and everybody will look different, you know, in the face with this wig. So I'm just trying to like, you know, fix it with my hair. And y'all, this wig is so gorgeous. 
even though I did all that, I do think it requires just a little bit of work, but this is like a 9 out of 10. Just because of like, just look at it. It's so pretty. It looks so natural. The top is giving life. I love the wave pattern. I love the curl pattern, period, in this wig. You could do so much with this. You could do so much with it. Um, you can style it, you know, however you see fit. See how that like my face comes out a little bit more once I took it behind my ears. Um, so yeah, you can do I keep looking at myself because I'm just looking at the hair. But you can do so much with this wig. Honestly, I don't have anything else to say. I definitely like this a lot more than the other. It's not tangling as much at all. So whew, glad about that. I would buy this again. This is so pretty and it's so full and fluffy. Like, I can't show y'all the back, but <laughs> Like, it's so pretty, fluffy, and cute. So if you want this wig, I'll leave a link to it below so you can go ahead and get you one. And yeah, make sure you check out my other videos and stay tuned for what I have to come. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna wait. All right, I hope you hit the subscribe button by now and I can't wait to see you again. Bye guys.